uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to channel, I'm Bushka, and today's video is all about a very, very nice rotation I made out of Rozok to win a game. Uh, what's a rotation, first and foremost? Rotation is when you move around the circle to another position, especially late game. When you make these correctly and you choose the right rotations, then you win way more games of PUBG Mobile. And a lot of this has to do with how you're playing. This is not really a rotation. This is winning because the circle came to us, like we were on the bridge, because the drop was somewhere else. And then the circle made sure that everyone else had to come and do really stupid things and get farmed on the bridge. And so that's that's not really what I'd call an intelligent rotation that, you know, you made in the right time, in the right order. It's just getting freaking lucky that the circle loves you and gave you a pat in the bum and said, here you go, buddy, have 10 kills. That's, that's not good gameplay. It can work and it can be fun, but it's not great gameplay. No, the kind of rotation I'm talking about is the rotation where you're locked in a battle with a whole bunch of squads and the decision you make means you win the game even though the other squads might be better players and your team might not have the right equipment or you know you might be on high ping those advantages can be nullified by you just playing a lot smarter than other people and I'm not talking about killing rotations like this. This is something McDingling and I do all the time where we rotate to squad house from George Pole Town and then kill people as they rotate out this to get a car from the garage. Three, two, um, one, go. This is, this is about winning a game. And winning a game isn't just about getting kills. It's about being in a position to stop other people from surviving. Whether it's a, a choke point you create with vehicles or you create because it's open ground and people have to cross it. Or if it's a choke point you create because you move first and get there first. Rozok is very popular uh, late game because there's a lot of buildings. You can hide a lot of squads in here. There's a shop on the hill. There's opportunities for people to safely be within a building. And... It's just very comfortable. We win this game. And we win this game because there are probably three other squads in Rozok. Little bits and pieces scattered all over there. And I am looking at this circle. And to me, it seems very, very clear. And you can see me start driving, running off to get our car. That if this circle shifts north across... And you can see I've just opened the minimap up there. I'm looking at it because I'm making sure that, you know, the majority of the circle isn't going to come south. If the circle shifts north, and if you look at this, it's fairly obvious. Everyone that is in Rozok is in the bottom third of the circle. If the circle shifts to the north, then everyone in Rozok is going to have to cross the river. And if they have to cross the river and they're holding each other out, they're more than likely going to be rotating on the edge of the blue or in fact in the blue because people just hold they just hold and hold and hold the first person to rotate gets shot by everyone else the problem here is i'm gonna have to make this rotation fast and i'm betting on the rotation shifting north already even before it shifted and voila i was correct we're in the car and we are driving way out to the west of rozok we're going to cross the bridge, roll all the way back around, and then take up a position on the ridge line overlooking Rozok. Now, one of the problems most people have is that they get stuck looking at the gunfight. I was ignoring the gunfight. I was completely ignoring it, and I was looking at how we can win. I've got six kills. It's not like we haven't had gunfights already, and I've, I've, I've been helpful for the team. But... If you can take yourself out of the game and just look at the map and treat it like a chessboard, then you can beat teams that are far better than you. And I'll let you in on a little secret. There's always someone better than you. Like, even if you are top 1% in the game, we all run across the people that are just a joke and you can't 
can't ever seem to beat them. They don't ever seem to miss. And they're not cheating. They're just really, really good. And this is the rotation we made. At a minute 58, we left. It took us 60 seconds to get here. No one else has left in that 60 seconds because they're all locked into that Rozok choke point. And we've moved with intent. We've rotated with intent. We are now in the best possible place you can be in the circle. We're on the edge of a ridge line. And the edge of that ridge line is the edge of the circle. It means that anyone in front of this ridge is going to be in the blue in about 30 seconds. Now, there is nothing is perfect in this world. Other people are making rotations. Some people have rotated out to the east from Rozok. There's a couple of solos that rotated out east of Rozok, and you can't control that. But all the squads in there, you can hear it. They're getting belted. They're all trying to rotate. We're taking out their cars. We're suppressing them. We're third-partying every engagement. They just can't get through. And even if they can get through, they're going to have to rotate in front of the guns. You can see that there's a UAS there. I'm just hitting it. Like, hoping someone gets in it, and then we're going to blow it up. Uh, you can hear there's an MG3 over there, just chortling away. There's guys in ghillie suits. No one over there is having a good time. And you'll note that there's going to be a monster truck coming in from the right of screen in just a sec. That's rotated from the other side of Rozok. Uh, and it's trying to rotate underneath the gunfight. And it does a really good job of rotating underneath the gunfight that's going on the other side. But as I mentioned before, we're still in the circle here. And in that early rotation by us, look at the kill feed. Look at how many people are dropping. Look at how many people are just falling apart. 10 left. And that's the rotation that went out to the east, just over there. There's actually two of them. You can see one guy went down. The other guy takes the other guy down. And then there's a guy up the top. And here comes the last two contestants from Rozok. And just like that, we've gone from 16 people in one circle, we've dropped 11 people from the from the game. One circle. And it was all because the rotation was perfect. There's one guy left crawling around somewhere out the north, and we go and kill him. But this is a great example of getting your head out of your bum and watching the minimap and preparing for the opportunity. I wasn't waiting for the circle to shift before I decided to get in the car and leave. I was in the car yelling at everyone, get in the car, as the circle went north. And that meant that we were there first. And that meant we won the game. If we hadn't have done that, we would have been rotating through every single squad there that you saw coming out of Rozok. And it's very unlikely that we win that game. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, please leave a comment below. Uh, I love making them. Stay safe, stay healthy, uh, be nice to your mum, eat your veggies, walk the dog, and until next time, see you out there on the battlefield.